ask you, have you ever done any branding work in your agency? Sounds silly, right? We're here to sell policies. I have my insurance license, not a marketing degree. But the bottom line is that there was almost $4 billion spent in 2017 on personal lines advertising. So that means that your agency needs to figure out how to stick out in your community. You can define your community any way you'd like, but to me, if I own a small business, I wanna be the loudest, the biggest, the closest, so that everybody that is in that earshot hears me, knows me, and understands me. And that's what branding does. If you wanna be the sleepy agency in the corner and hope for your referrals to come in, we get that. But I know that our followers, our viewers, and our listeners, that's not what you're here to do. You're here to go out and crush it. So focusing on modernizing your agency brand will help do a few things. The first thing it's going to do is help us identify clearly who you should be writing. We shouldn't be writing everybody. That's right. Even if you're a small Main Street agency, everybody is not your clientele. Once we know who we're writing, we can structure a brand that speaks to them. So for example, if you're trying to write growing families, what should your brand identity really look like? Do you think it should have the picture of the multicultural business team everywhere? Probably not. The next thing it has to do is give your agency something to talk about, something to go and say and say, hey, this is why we're different. Even in small communities, we find a lot of insurance competition. So even though you might have seven competitors in your town, research what they're doing, what's their look and feel, what's their mojo. I guarantee with a little work, effort, and a brand guide, you could go ahead and skyrocket your results. Really what a brand is is giving your agency an identity because we don't sell anything other than a promise and a piece of paper and more and more people are going on e-policies so paper doesn't even exist. So all we have is our image and our ID. And if your image is flat, stale, boring, confusing, do you think you're winning? No. But when you work with a branding firm like Agency Appeal, you can go out there and crush becoming different, unique, and powerful. And that's what a real brand can do for you. As we move forward, more and more consumers are attracted to a brand's identity, what they stand for, and how they do it. And I'm gonna leave you with this because I think this is the best example of branding. There is Chick-fil-A and there's McDonald's. McDonald's has a bigger menu and is open on Sundays. Chick-fil-A has a different brand, right? What do you think about McDonald's? Fast food, cheap, okay, go there if I have to, never eat inside of a McDonald's. What do I think about when I go to Chick-fil-A? My pleasure, the food's good and fresh. I'm gonna pay a little bit more. I might even eat inside because I'm gonna have a great experience. And I don't know why, but I crave a chicken sandwich on Sundays more than any other day. Chick-fil-A has a better brand than McDonald's, but McDonald's is less expensive and has a bigger menu offering. So now you can tell me, what is the, how does that apply to the independent insurance world? Well, in your community, what is your brand? Are you Chick-fil-A or are you McDonald's? Now we take it out to the bigger global level with the direct writers. They spend so much money on branding that the top three Halloween costumes in America, Flo, Mayhem, and, uh, and Geico, are out there. You can become a lizard that's now a Halloween costume. Are they not trying to win over branding? Of course they are, but you have one thing that they won't have. You can be the biggest brand in your community. Now it takes some intention, takes a little investment, and takes some hard thought processes, but by investing in your agency brand, you'll become more valuable over time and win more consumers. Maybe you don't need to go buy an agency, maybe you can run them out of business with your brand. So think about it. It's something that doesn't get put on the table that often, but it should be in your 2020 marketing strategy of how are we going to go create and craft our brand image. And if you're struggling, that's why we're here to help. We're happy to send you samples to get the party started. But 2020, commit to your agency building a beautiful, great brand that helps you compete because that's what's gonna get you to be here for the long haul.